Welcome back to What's Up, I'm Zahira. For this week's Celebrity Fit, we met up with one of the UAE's well-known names in sport and fitness, Omar Alduri. He recently made headlines when he was offered a position to coach Ghana's under-20 football team. Now that he's back in Dubai, we asked him about the experience, his other projects, plus how his fitness routine changed this Ramadan. Hi, I'm Omar Alduri. Um, I'm a health and fitness professional. I'm based in the UAE, but I was born and raised in London. I went to school in KFA, King Fahd Academy, uh, and my father is Iraqi and my mother is Saudi Arabian. I grew up struggling with uh, weight issues as a kid. Uh, I was quite overweight. I loved sports, but uh, I wasn't the best at it. I, I know how it feels to be picked last in the team when you're, uh, when you're playing football. So I went through that experience. And, you know, from a young age, once you set those kind of uh, standards for yourself, it's really difficult to get yourself out of it. So coming to the UAE and being originally Arabic, I wanted to you know, try and rectify the mistakes that I made and help the children at school with their campaign in terms of food and just making sure it's fun, making sure it's, it's different, it's colorful. It doesn't have to be boring. Uh, it could just be uh, a mixture of things and also the way you label them as well, which is something that, for example, growing up a burger was a burger, but nowadays you've got whole wheat bread, you've got gluten-free uh, products. So, you can always make it fun for them and tasty at the same time. Well, actually, I've been coaching for the last 14 years now. It's been a roller coaster ride. I have my own women's football team in, in the UAE, the Platform 3 Women's Football Team, and I uh, spend a lot of my time kind of coaching and developing uh, female youth players here. I got a phone call from uh, Avram Grant, who's the uh, manager of Ghana, having scouted me in the UAE and in the UK with. Uh, few awards that I won and, and acknowledgements that I got and from that point they asked me if I was interested in developing the under 20 youth team and I, uh, I obliged with the project. I first went to Senegal to coach them for the African Nations Cup. Uh, that was definitely an experience that we enjoyed together collectively and um, we finished third in the African Nations Cup uh, and we re qualified for the World Cup in New Zealand which was just recent. Uh, and had an incredible experience. I mean, working with those players who breed and sleep and, and live football is exactly what I'm passionate about and uh, I absolutely enjoyed every moment of it. Bringing together the aspect from fitness and the aspect from the technical side of things in football was something that I spent uh, with the players, working with them one-on-one -on -one or as a team. And together with a great staff, we, uh, we managed to, to finish top of our group, a group which was very difficult, uh, Argentina, Austria and Panama. It was an incredible experience, um, very humbling, very, very overwhelming. Uh, I loved every moment of it. In Ghana, it was mainly, I was using my own body weight because I didn't have tools to, to mess around with. So um, I used different formats such as Tabata or high intensity interval training. Um, I used four or five different exercises, less rest periods and, and just continuous um, movements and patterns to try and progress where I wanted to get to. In Dubai, obviously we're blessed with having great facilities like, you know, obviously Platform 3 and just trying to mix it and match up. I think it's always important to kind of have variety. I think if you have variety, your body's guessing, and if your body's guessing, then it has room to develop. If you get used to the same routine, then you're unlikely to adapt or develop into the goals that you want to set yourself in the beginning. So I think uh, training was definitely something you know you had to create your own self and then also nutrition was just as important because it's a lifestyle thing you know it's not something where you you go for two weeks and, and your life changes no you've got to set yourself uh, a goal and also try and sustain it once you've reached it for me what I tend to do is I tend to train I wouldn't say a light session but a session a mild session during the day and then when it comes down to, I'll be working or I'll be with clients or coaching, as it comes down to iftar time, which is around 7.14 when uh, sun sets, just closer to that, I'll just make sure I do my prayers and then I'll have a couple of dates. I will uh, definitely hydrate because your body's been 
obviously, you know, dehydrated the whole day. So I'll definitely hydrate. I'll probably have a soup, um, give myself a little bit of time and then go into it where I have a light meal. I'll come into the gym around 11, 11 p.m. I'll do a training session and then I'll have a proper meal around midnight. Uh, upon that, uh, that period, I won't be back into sitting down. I'll try and stay active or move around. I think creating your own environment is, is probably the key thing. That's one thing. Second thing is preparation. You know, we um, tend to go the whole day without, um, without food or water. I mean, that's nothing compared to people that struggle, not just from you know, sunrise to sunset, but their whole lives. So they don't actually indulge afterwards. We kind of have to just be very, very um, humble and, and patient in our approach. Um, I mean, as you just saw earlier, I was training myself and just trying not to set myself uh, an obstacle in the way, just trying to create my own environment, train, eat properly. As soon as you break fast, you know, have a few dates, balance your sugar levels, um, take your time, have a soup. If you need to train, you can train. And then you have a proper meal afterwards with full of fiber and carbohydrates and protein and vegetables, um, you know, stacking up on that. Uh, and you find your body's adapting to it because your appetite shrinks naturally. So just feeding it, remember that it spent the whole day without food and water. So it requires to be replenished the right way.